I've been waiting, I've been waiting, I've been waiting for someone like you And I don't know, I don't know what it is, but it's something you do Hello and good morning friends, um, today is April 16th and it is the first day of the of the stay at home rain rush I you know just woke up and it's actually like 10 something but there will be no judgment in this video because isolation has completely ruined our schedules but typically we wake up around 10 or 11 and then <clears throat> eat something and get started with school however today it is going to be a little bit different I'm going to let the kids sleep a little bit longer because I have to put a coat of paint on my bookshelf and then I'm going to wake them up um <clears throat> but it is a reading vlog so I thought I would talk to you guys about the book I am starting with which is The Perfect Stranger by Megan Miranda um, and I actually did start it last night. I got eight pages in before I had to stop reading because we had some drama going down. So I was reading this book and that's why I only got eight pages in because we heard Claire scream and freak out. So that is the first book that I started and I'm going, so the prompts are read a book with a house on the front, which is this and read a book entirely in the same place. Read a book that makes you happy and read a book that takes place in somewhere you'd like to visit. I think those are it. If there's any more, I'll put it on the screen. Um, but off the top of my head, I'm pretty sure that's it. So obviously this book that I started last night has the house on it and I'm also going to read it entirely in our bed. I only brought it out here to show you guys. That is the first book that I plan to read and it's interesting because I'm only eight pages in, but I kind of love the writing already. Like, you would think eight pages isn't enough to get that yet, but apparently it is. So, um, I think I'm going to really love this book, I hope. And, uh, yeah. So, I am about to drink coffee and take the dog out to potty and then... Then I will be going outside to put on, like I said, the first coat of paint. Um, but while I do that, I want to listen to a book because, yes, I have a lot of stuff to do today. Um, I have a few chores to finish. And also, I want to get my bookshelves done as soon as possible. So I will be utilizing uh, my audiobooks. But the first one I'm going to start is... Bringing Down the Duke, and that is a rom-com historical fiction. Uh, I think this one will fall under a, a book I love. A funny historical fiction with some romance. You know, I just really, I'm excited to read that. So that is my reading plan for the foreseeable future. And I will try to keep this vlog mostly reading related. Um, but you will probably see clips of like schooling and other things because that's just of the vlog that's what we do so yeah let me get the first day started after talking for like seven minutes about nothing <laughs> important <laughs> hello friends um it is oops sorry much much later well okay, i don't know yeah it's two o'clock so i guess yeah so i've listened to about an hour of bringing down the duke and it's cute so far um it is harder for me to get into this uh, type of historical fiction because I usually listen to like not funny historical fiction or smutty but it's okay we're only an hour in I have eight more hours to go of this book and so anyways right now I'm going to probably cook some noodles for the kids to eat and maybe Andrew too he came home early it's a surprise so um don't look at me like that probably make some noodles and I am going to clean up a little bit. There's some uh, paper and just some random stuff to take care of. And then I will do another update later, but I don't think I'll get much reading done in the next couple of hours. So I will talk to you guys this evening, probably. Hello friends. Hello friends. <laughs> See you in the video. Bye -bye -bye -bye. All right. So it is now 8:53. Um, Kai is playing Hello Neighbor. I am playing Animal Crossing and listening to 
bringing down the duke. If you ever make it to the, oh. if, if Helen never makes it to the trap, he says he hurts so he can't move anymore. And, and we have a new I'm candle burning. <gasps> Smells like summer. Anyway, so I did finish um, I made it. putting the second layer of paint on my bookshelf. Um, I didn't record any of it okay. because the humidity here fogs up my camera. But hopefully it'll be ready to bring inside tomorrow so I can organize my bookshelf. So on bringing down the Duke, I am on chapter, wait, what did it say? Chapter 12, uh, there's eight hours, 22 minutes left and the first hour of the book, it was questionable. However, I'm really loving it now. It's cute, it's funny, very flirty, could get steamy, but I'm loving it. I haven't touched The Perfect Stranger since the middle of the night last night, but after I play Animal Crossing and Hunt Some Spiders, I do plan to read that before bed. So, we're doing good on our books. Yeah! He doesn't care. The next day. Hello friends, and welcome to day two of the readathon. Uh, it's currently after three o'clock. I did not <laughs> pick up the vlog yet. Um, day two or the day Day two okay. of the reading thing. Um, however, I will say I did not read any of my physical book last night, but I did read, um, what did I read? Oh yeah, I'm almost done with Bringing Down the Duke. I have two hours left and I'm actually about to start dinner soon. Um, so I'm gonna finish it then and oh my god, I just love this book. It is so cute, very steamy. And I just love the, <laughs> <laughs> I love the time frame that it's set in. It's back in like the older days where, you know, everyone had horses and carriages mm -hmm. and um, dukes of course. And uh, it is set in England and Hi. I am loving it. I do have to, I think, rewind about 15 minutes because I fell asleep last night. But yeah, I was up really late listening to it and playing games on my phone, anything to try to stay awake. <laughs> Why did you want to stay awake? Because I love this book. It's so cute. I wanted to finish it last night, but that I would have been up to like four. So I didn't. So today all I've really done is homeschool. I woke up at 10. Andrew woke me up. He surprised me because he did have to go to work this morning, but he brought me home a coffee because I just sent him home and said, you're on standby. And then he did end up having to go back in and pick up a couple things. But um, anyways, he brought me home a coffee and it was Is a really... Right um, I would use more of this. Hey, Mom! Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh -huh. So Claire's just finishing up her schooling, finishing her art, she's making her own comic strip and uh, yeah we did science, talked about earth and how it began. I had a lot of cool questions. Yeah she had a lot of questions, it was fun to just like have a normal conversation. I About school stuff instead of like real boxes. Like <laughs> yeah well I love, that's what I love about school too is because you can just talk one on one it's not. What's this? So I do love that about homeschool. It's like more of a one-on-one -on -one thing. It's not 20 kids vying for one person's attention, which can happen at public school. And that's not to say it's the teacher's fault, but I I like this. And I'm enjoying homeschooling, are you? Yes, a lot. Yes, we are enjoying it. So um, anyways, uh, we talked about the earth. We did some parts of the speech review. She has learned about this already, but um, just a when I was quizzing her about a couple of things, she couldn't quite remember, so we're just going over it again. Mm -hmm. um, 
yeah and so now all that's left that she has to do at some point today she has to do her reading but i don't mind if she does that later in the evening closer to bedtime so it kind of like relaxes her a little bit yes yeah, yeah, so that is what's going on um it's just after three so i don't have to start dinner right away i will probably put some laundry away and try to do some productive stuff while listening to Reading on the Duke, and then I will cook dinner. I think we're gonna have enchiladas, maybe something. Yeah, we'll see. Anyways, <laughs> uh, so yeah, I will check in later. Hello, friends. It is much later. It is now eight o'clock. Huh, puppy? It's late. Eight o'clock at night. Um, the kids are in my bedroom watching a movie, which is why I'm updating you out here. Um. I just finished bringing down the duke and it was so cute like well it was uh, cute and steamy but not like smutty there were sex scenes but they weren't like i would not classify this as smut long story short it was like definitely steamy romance but it was funny and so cute and i was rooting for the main character and the love interest um like i said the first hour of the audiobook um i was like okay i'm bored like you know whatever and then man i got into it um i loved it so much so that is the first book completed um if you're looking for a lighthearted, but it also does touch on some important topics like women's suffrage it was back in the 1800s so it talked about women's suffrage and like trying to be not property when they become marriage and stuff so um you know it talks about important things but it's not like a downer kind of story it's actually quite positive and uplifting and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I gave it five stars. I thought about going back to my bed and picking up The Perfect Stranger again, but the kids are back there watching a movie and I'll get distracted. So I'm gonna sit on the couch and read A Court of Wings and Fury because I finished A Court of Mist, wait, A Court of Wings and Ruin because I finished A Court of Mist and Fury last week. Um, I read it in like less than two days. This is where I wanna visit. I would love to go visit the night court and see Rhysand and Cassian and Asriel, which by the way, in case you didn't know my dog's name is Asriel, we got it from this book, this book series, which of course was my doing. <laughs> um, so yeah, as you can tell, I just did my skincare and um, I'm having some skin issues, so don't pay attention. I'm gonna sit on the couch and start this and read this for a while. Um, and then I think Kai's already falling asleep thank you so in a little bit I will go back to my bed and that will be where I read the perfect stranger entirely not tonight but like over the next few nights um yeah I thought I'd give you guys an update sorry I didn't vlog very much today it was surprisingly busy with homeschool and like laundry and this and that so I'm down sitting down for the night to read and I will check in in a little bit Okay, Andrew got Spider Island. Oh, lucky. I am still reading Court of Wings and Ruin. I'm on page 40, 43. Um, still loving it like usual. But it's slow going because between the kids and Andrew, I'm a little distracted. But, um, you know. It's a fun, fun Friday night, huh, buddy? Yeah. yeah. Hello, friends, and um, happy Saturday. I woke up and like just got on my phone and like scrolled around, blah blah. blah um, and it said, uh, "Dara, happy anniversary," and I was like, "Oh, shoot! It is Andrew and I's fifth wedding anniversary." So, um. Yeah, that was my bad. I, I with everything going on, dude. Yesterday, even um, I said something like, "Oh, do you have work tomorrow? Or are they gonna let you work from home?" And he goes, "Tomorrow's Saturday. Like it's Friday." And I totally, with isolation and stuff. Oh, there's a buddy. Um, guys, this is mommy's TV, so we play Hello Neighbor on it at four three. Yep. So I can't believe I forgot. But yeah, today we've been married for five years. So um. 
I am gonna actually get dressed and you have to let it sink first. It's updating something, okay? Uh. So just give it a few minutes. Um, I'm actually gonna get dressed and go pick up some curbside oh surprises for him that he doesn't know about. Oh um, just like boba tea. Oops, sorry. Just like some boba tea. Cause I think we're just gonna eat leftovers today. Uh, maybe I'll go in a few hours around dinner time and surprise him with something. I don't know, but it is our anniversary. I am gonna put makeup on, even though we're just chilling at home for the most part. Like, I, yeah, I'm gonna go pick up boba tea and maybe some Asian food, but I wanna look pretty, I wanna feel pretty for him. Let's do a reading update. I was up, oh God, you scared the hell out of me. I was up until three o'clock in the morning reading A Court of Wings and Ruin, and I'm only on 182, so I'm reading this book slower than the Court of, which is actually up here, Court of Mist and Fury, but progress is still progress, so I haven't even picked up The Perfect Stranger. I don't think I'll be able to check that one off of the reading thing, because uh, I've only got like 36 hours left of the reading competition. However, <coughs> bless you, I am going to continue reading this right now. Um, Andrew's out walking the dog, so I'm gonna go ahead and read this and go pick up our, his surprise here in a couple hours, but I will update you maybe in the car where you won't see. Okay, see ya. Hello friends. It is um, just coming up to 6 o'clock p.m. And we just finished eating dinner. Your hands are cold, boy. So we just finished eating dinner. Um, like I said, I went and got us some Japanese takeout. And is it up there? Nope. No, not, not you. Oh, we got boba as well. Takeaway. Didn't even like talk to people or see people really. Um, and we were out of water, so we had to grab some water. <sighs> but I need to clean up the kitchen a little bit so I can bake cookies in a while for my hubby. Um, I have not read. I have not read since this morning. So I am going to read now while my stomach settles because we ate so much. So much food. So much delicious food. I am in a bit of a food coma, but that's okay. Worth it. Oh, I'm gonna let my stomach settle. Read. Um, and like I said, I'm gonna tidy up the kitchen, bake some cookies for Andy, and um, we're gonna watch a movie. And I will be, I wanna play some Animal Crossing tonight, I think, so. I might not get that much reading done today, but. I have all day tomorrow and I'm not leaving the house, let alone probably the bed because tomorrow they are doing a, a, a <clears throat> tomorrow they're doing an event for Pokemon Go. Um, each incense, well like they've been lasting an hour lately, but between like 11 to 12 is water type, which includes ice, which is what I need. Um, like 12 to one, you're gonna catch more fire with like chances of shiny, so. We're gonna be doing that, but while I wait for Pokemon to pop up, I will be reading all day. But so far, I'm pretty content with what I've accomplished so far. I read the entirety of Bringing Down the Duke, and I am almost 200 pages um, into A Court of Wings and Ruin. If I could read another 200 pages tomorrow, between tonight and the end of tomorrow, I will be really happy, because that would be well, 400 just for this book, and I'm not sure how long, how many pages Bringing Down the Duke was, but I will see. That would be really ideal, but like I said, I'm just going to relax, read, just, uh, I'm gonna light that candle up there, and just hang out, spend time with my hubby, it is our anniversary. <laughs> Oops, I for forgetting, but yeah, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a chill night. Maybe not as much reading as I'd hoped, but family time, very important. Hello friends and happy Sunday. Um, it is currently 1.20 in the afternoon. Uh, and I would say, what, we woke up at like 11? Um, but I've been playing Pokemon and um, Animal Crossing all day. Pokemon, they are doing an incense day. 
each hour from 11 to 5 is like a different type of Pokemon. Um, and yeah, so that's what I've been doing all day. I haven't read at all yet. However, last night I did get through 90% of The Overdue Life of Amy Byler and I'm loving it so far. Um, I do plan on finishing that here very shortly and after lunch because Andrew is currently making some rice after lunch I will be reading more of a court of wings and ruin so that is my update it is the last day of the readathon but I'm still super proud of what I've done so far um, even if I don't finish a quart of wings and ruin which i probably will not <laughs> i still have like 400 pages of that book left maybe less but i don't think so um i'm still really proud of the work i've done this weekend or the reading not really work it's fun um yeah so that is my quick update i will update you guys again later i look really rough sorry but we are just having a lazy Sunday we're just hanging out all day um catching Pokemon and of course I'll do laundry and stuff later to get ready for the week I also need to print off homeschool stuff but as of right now it's fine we're just having fun playing Pokemon and Animal Crossing trying to get them bells pay off some of my house and yeah so that is my update for now but I will see you guys in a little bit Hello friends, and welcome to the end of this reading vlog. Hi, as we all. Um, so, I was gonna go edit this video and then I was like, oh, you did not tell them what you accomplished or anything, you didn't wrap it up. And I think I did one update yesterday, I'm so sorry about that. Uh, so, total for this readathon, I read slash listened to 1,034 pages. That's, it's amazing. Um, I think it's amazing. If you are one of the people who do not think audiobooks count as pages read slash listened, then you need to skedaddle <laughs> because in this reading readathon, it does count. And I personally could not read as much as I do without audiobooks because your girl's busy. So I love listening while I clean, cook, do anything. Uh, anyway, so aside from that, I'm really proud of my progress. I did not tick off all of the boxes for the challenges but those were just for fun extra challenges um i got two of them i think yeah two of them the one i did not accomplish was the book with the house in the front i only read eight pages of the perfect stranger and i did enjoy it i'm going to continue reading it i just didn't do it this weekend for whatever reason um the other book that I did not complete, I guess we're doing incompletions first, was, hold on, she's heavy and upside down, A Court of Wings and Ruin. Uh, last night, before midnight, when I officially cut off, I got to page 342, which is nearly halfway. My goal was 350 because that would be almost exactly halfway, but I was short by a few pages, whatever. Um, and if you don't know, for whatever reason, A Court of Wings of Ruin is the third book in the Aquatar or A Court of Thorns and Roses series by Sarah J. Mass. I guess technically there's a fourth one. It's a novella, but it was like, whatever. Um, and I'm still waiting on more books to come out. So we'll see if she continues. But uh, I read, on a whim last week, I read... The second book in the trilogy because i got it from uh books of wonder andrew bought it for me as a little like surprise because it's my favorite in the series and i didn't own it so when it arrived last week i like picked it up and read it in two days and just felt like continuing i did not finish this last night however i stayed up way late and i did get all the way to page 500 but those pages don't count because it was not within the reading whatever so the first complete book that i finished was bringing down the dew by evie dunmore and this book was so fun so cute um and it takes place in the 1800s 1700s oh it takes place in 1879 in england um 
and it's right around the time where women are trying to not be seen as property women's rights and uh you know all that fun stuff and it is a love story they follow this girl who falls in love with the duke and she is not of a high enough station technically so it goes through their tribulations of loving each other but not technically being able to be together and um this book i think i already talked about it it was quite um steamy is a good word very steamy but like classy does that make sense like it wasn't vulgar but it was quite detailed and i loved it oh my gosh i loved this book so much i gave it five stars and it was 356 pages i also finished the overdue life of amy byler and this one was by kelly harms and it was super fun it follows a single mom whose husband left uh to go on a business trip and just never came back and then he shows up again three years later and wants to be a part of their lives and Amy does not know if that includes her or just the children. Does he want to reconcile or not? But he begs to have the kids for like two weeks. So she takes a trip up to New York where she may or may not meet a sexy librarian. Um, this one is not smutty though, but it is really cute. Uh, and this one does tick off uh, a place I want to visit because I would love to visit New York City. And I would also love to visit a court of wings and ruin um that one also goes towards that even though i didn't finish it <sighs> is that all the books i finished yeah i only finished two read eight pages of another and then half of a fourth book but i still think that is really good in four days i'm actually quite impressed with myself so that is going to be it for this reading vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you give it a like and subscribe if you're not already and i will see you guys in my next video bye the clock says three, but the night's brand new. Let's set it to two.